Hey there, I'm Danny Griffin, the founder of TheRealtyClassroom.com with this week's coaching and training tip. So year after year, I told myself that it was going to always get better. I believed that I could probably, I don't know, will myself to more transactions, more profit, more success. After all, I could just always crank up the treadmill and go faster. Now, real estate always offered me that endless opportunity. There was no cap. There was no limit. For many top producing real estate agents, the phone is always going, their cars are always the first and the last to come and go from the office. Writing up offers, negotiating deals, collecting all the trophies at the end of the year, that was the way of life. They're the admiration of the office. Everybody wishes that they had the same success, but the truth is many of them aren't willing to sacrifice their personal lives that they think they have to, to get there. So. Here we have this industry that ends up with all these extremes, a few that are crushing it, and many others that are willing but lost from the very beginning. If only they could have been there in the office when the top producer was there grabbing all those great up calls and snatching up all the opportunities. Well, be careful what you wish for. You see, I've been that guy. I've worked like a pouncing tiger for many years in a row crawling in the low grass just waiting for a prospect to happen by. And when they did, there was no choice other than to be opportunistic and jump. Or so I thought. Now, coming up in the business, I saw it as a world ripe for the opportunity seeker. To me, agents just weren't really willing to put in the work that I thought it would take to do well. Following this style of opportunity hunting, I did well, but you know, it was definitely exhausting. I knew there had to be some sort of a better way to do this business. Now, having spent time early in my career analyzing businesses that were big or startups, I recognized that the best followed a very simple and a boring repetitive system. They knew what they were doing every day and they continued to make these small refinements along the way. Now, many of these companies were hardly household names because what they did was so ordinary they flew under the radar. Now, flash forward to the internet age and the other night, I found myself sitting there watching a three-hour marathon webinar by Rich Sheffrin. The reasons are many fold, but not the least of which is that his focus was on whether you're thinking strategically or opportunistically. Now, I think I stayed involved the whole time so as to really anchor the fact that this year I truly understand the strategic message. Back about nine month, months ago, I cured my business ADD by finally deciding to start with a map. No more waking up every day and putting together the hunting party. I simply downloaded a free software called xmind.net and started with the end in mind. I built a mind map that clearly outlined what I wanted my business to look like. I took my time and finally became a strategic real estate agent. Now it worked far better than chasing every single opportunity. With a real strategic plan in place, I became more accountable to my budget for growth and more bulletproof to being pulled off course by the latest wizard telling me in my industry that the next opportunity was just right around the corner. You see, the moral of the story is simple. If you don't think and act strategically, you'll be swallowed whole while seeking the next opportunity. Hey, I'm Danny Griffin, the founder of the RealtyClassroom.com with this week's real estate agent coaching and training tip reminding you, think strategically, map it out, and protect yourself. If you like these or you have any thoughts, please comment here and I will respond personally. But more importantly, please share these through your social media channels. We'll see you next time and thanks for tuning in.